welcome back to my channel let's jump right into it today's video is a bob i'm using the doobie uh, premium express in the color 4 27 30 and the color 1 so we have a black a blondish color a light brown um like a honey brown and then a regular brown You can find this hair at your local beauty supply store. It was like $9.99 a box. So I'm going to start off with the black. What you want to do is you want to take your tracks and you want to measure them from side to side. From left side to the right side. So we're going to just do that um, until we get to around the top of the crown. So after the color one, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this color 30. And once again, you're just going to measure from one side of the cap to the other. Now, as far as getting your hair ready before you start gluing this on, if you have, um, if you have, you know, a lot of hair, you can use different type of things to mold your hair down, protect your hair before you start gluing the tracks. I don't do that because I lost my hair, so there's really no need to do that. So I can just go right in and um, start adding, you know, the tracks. But next, I did use the color 4, which is a regular brown. And what, what I decided to do, I'm just going to rotate from, uh, I'm going to rotate back and forth between all four colors. If you start looking at it and you're not really feeling the color, um, the way it's placed, you can always rotate tracks. You can always pull some out, add some more. However you want to do it, ladies. Right now, I'm going to take a break from doing the tracks. And I'm just using a little concealer to kind of map out where I want my invisible part to be. If y'all are not new to my channel, y'all know this is the same method I use all the time. And right now, we're just going to go right back and we're going to start rotating those colors again. Now this hair is a reason why it's $9.99 is because it is a premium blend, which just means it is um it's fiber, it's fibers, but it's mixed with human hair. So that's why it's a premium blend, a premium mix. The brown, however, is 100 percent human. I couldn't find the color uh brown I wanted. In the premium blend so I just grabbed the human with it which they mix very well and it actually helps to keep the the style better because you're mixing more human hair into it this hair does take heat if you look on the back of the box ladies it will tell you how hot you can go I have safely been able to curl this at 400 um, all the way up to 450 you go past that Queens I can't tell you but safely, 450 is the highest that I've curled this on. Now, I'm not going to go, and hopefully I'm not talking too much, y'all. I'm just trying to make sure y'all know how to do this. Where the concealer line is at, I'm not going to glue the tracks too close to the line. Or actually... On
okay ladies to close in the part I am taking really small sections of hair and you want to measure from the concealer line to where the track is showing and you just want to start placing them on top of each other so one track is going to cover the previous one and then the next tra track will cover that one and so on and so forth until you get to the top and um, I like to use the flat iron to really um, press the track down before I glue it so then that way it lays really nicely and you're just gonna keep doing that until you get to the very top of the concealer line and then you want to do the same thing on the other side and you just want to take your time I mean everybody's not into the lace closures and the frontals um, or you might not have the money right now let's just keep it 100 so this is a really cheap way to um, do your hair and make it look really cute so it looks a little messy right now y'all this is glue um, the glue will get messy in the part if you're not careful I was kind of rushing but like I said you're gonna take each piece and you're going to flat iron it first and then you're gonna apply your glue and then you're just gonna place it right on top of the other track be careful not to get glue on each piece that you lay down because it will start to get all into your hair and then it won't flow real nicely. But when you get it real close, um, when you put the tracks really close, the invisible part comes out really nice. And y'all, I usually get the question, do I cut the cap? No, queens, I do not cut the cap. If your hair is molded and you have a, a, a part, you can cut the cap, but me I don't do that all I eventually do is go in with a concealer that's close to my skin color and I put it in to that parting area and then there's no need to there's no need to cut the cap now here y'all I'm doing my uh, faux edge method you may have seen this um, may have seen this recently but I've been doing this for about a decade now so it's just an easy way to make your edges match your hair. You can also do this even if you haven't lost your hair. If you just, you know, want to have your little extra edge out. But I'm using the in the got to be glue. Excuse me, ladies. Got to be glue in the black bottle. And I'm going to use that to keep these edges on. I do have videos on this method, ladies. I will make sure I post that in the description bar. But it's always... Thank you ladies for watching. I appreciate the support. I have been gone for a while. Um, I got such a huge life update for you ladies in a video. I'm going to talk to y'all about it. But yeah. So I do live in Texas y'all before I go. I do live in Texas and it is hot as shit. Okay. It is hot as the devil's ball sack out.